Okay, this is the very last <coughs> problem in section 1314. We're given the ordered pair a comma a squared, so this is an x value and this is a y value, and we're given the ordered pair a plus h comma a plus h quantity squared. This whole thing is one x value and this is the y value. And we're asked to find the slope of the line through these two points. Okay, slope. Slope is always change in y divided by the change in x. Slope is always a fraction. The change in y goes on the top, the change in x goes on the bottom. So the way I do this is I pick a y value from one point and I subtract the y value from the other. I'm going to start with this y value. This is the ugly one. So I'm going to start here, okay? I'm going to start here. And that y value is a plus h quantity squared. Change means subtract. Now I take the y value from over here, which is a squared. So, on the top, I have this y value. I started with the ugly one minus this y value, change in y. On the bottom, I have change in x. Well, if I started here to begin with for y, I have to start here for x. So my, x, my first x value is a plus h. Change in means subtract. <clears throat> my next x value is this one, which is a. So, ugly as this is, I just followed the formula for slope. Change in y, the ugly y value minus the pretty y value, divided by change in x, the ugly x value minus the pretty x value. We could have done it in the reverse order, but to be honest, these are ugly. I don't want to put them behind a minus sign because that just adds complication to the problem. Now, to do this problem, let's look at it, okay? The bottom is real easy, the denominator rather. A minus A, of course, becomes 0. 0 plus H is just H. So the denominator is virtually taken care of. Now, in the numerator, A plus H squared, I've got to, I've got to do out. So let me go kind of to a side of my paper going to walk off to the side. a plus h squared means a plus h times a plus h. And I'm going to do that by foiling or in better terms now that we're in 1105 let's say we're distributing. a times a is a squared. a times h is a h. Now I do the h. h times a is a h again h times h is h squared. These two terms in the middle are like. One of them plus one of them gives me two of them. So I have a squared plus two a h plus h squared. So when I went down to a different part of my paper and I worked out just this part, it became a squared plus 2AH plus H squared. Now the rest of the numerator tells me to do minus A squared. Well, we've already agreed the denominator has just come down to H. In the numerator, look what happens. This A squared and this A squared become, you know, A squared minus A squared is zero, so they no longer show. So I have 2AH plus H squared in the numerator, <clears throat> and I have H in the denominator. Now, we want to make sure that we're writing our answer in lowest terms. And the best way to write an, an algebraic answer in lowest terms, step one is to factor, and then step two is to cancel out any, any identical factors. Okay? Step one, you factor. Step two, you cancel. So, 
if I factor in the numerator, I factor out an h. It leaves me with 2a plus h. In the denominator, I have an h. These h's cancel, technically leaving a 1 down here. My final answer is 2a plus h. We really don't have to show divided by 1. That doesn't do a lot of good for me. So here's my answer to the problem, 2a plus h. Now this type of problem obviously was not done back in 1033. This is much more a sloped problem, and this is probably your first exposure to it. And this is a really good type of problem for you to practice over and over and over again to kind of get used to a little bit different level problem with slope especially for those of you going on into business calculus, pre-calculus, trig, calculus one day. This is a very important problem to learn how to do because this is leading you towards something eventually called the difference quotient. It's, it's, on the, it's, it's basically on that line. It's getting you there. Okay? So practice makes perfect. You may want to try this same problem over five or six times at different times, you know, during the week until you feel comfortable working it. One of the most important parts is right here, remembering that a plus h squared has to be done this way so that you come out with a trinomial. Okay? So please keep practicing this until you feel comfortable with it.